Y'all gotta see this hair raising video the neighborhood talk posted. It's of a woman being asked to take off her hat by TSA in the airport, but she clearly doesn't want to because guys, her wig is sewn into her hat, which guys, we've seen this so many times. We've seen them sewed onto headbands and so many other things. While to some people this was hysterical, I'm low-key traumatized for her. TSA obviously is, insist is insisting in the video, and when she finally removed it, she was left exposed with nothing but her wig cap on. And while some people thought, obviously, the video was funny, others said TSA was dead wrong for this. I am one of the people saying they were wrong. Ladies, what do you think about this security situation? Ugh, I am devastated I for her. That's so embarrassing, but we I all know you have to area. take off your hat going through security, though. Do you know what I mean? Everybody knows that. Your I shoes, know. your socks. I just feel like it was a woman. Do you think that maybe she could have been like, sis, if my wig stuck to the hat. Like, could you just rub your hand under there? Could you feel? Because they can do other things, you know what I mean, to make sure it's safe. Yeah. I think obviously Be one, like Garcelle said, we really do have to recognize that, yes, they do make you take your hat off. But I have actually seen videos where they make the women take their wig off, and I think that that is absolutely not okay. Oh, I don't even I I don't play them I, games. No, I, I, I think it's, they just want to embarrass you. They know who's not a terrorist a and who's not a terrorist. I was at the Vancouver airport, and I had pins in my hair, and they were like, can you take the pins out? And I was like, no, use your wand. Like, send me back into that machine that spins around. Like, no, figure it out. And then they were like, hi, fancy. And I'm like, so you know who I am, and you're putting yeah. me through this. <laughs> and they usually yeah. just feel on the top anyway. They could just feel. And yeah. I'm with you, Jeannie. It's like, just feel on the top. It's like, you know, I mean. Yeah. I just, but don't but embarrass like, her. No, no. It's but totally but then we have way to be that they could have taken her to the side and been like, let me just put my she hand She could have requested her. that. She could have requested that. Yeah. That's always like, if you feel uncomfortable, you can request that. I will say, don't wear sequins. Don't wear anything that's going <laughs> to, you know, knock it off. Because you know how you, you, yes. I used to wear those sequins um, joggers? Oh, yeah. That yeah. makes yeah. it goes crazy. Send and then it all you have off. to go get yeah. searched. So don't, I would yeah. just say, just be careful with that. But when it comes to wigs, they all always do this. They always yeah. patent and all they, of that. Have and you like, ever be been in a situation where they try to tell you to take it off? Yeah, yeah. They, they've had and then, you know, we, we, I'd be like, no, I'm not going to take it off. You got to push back. So, She's right. You got to push yeah. back and sometimes you got to find a person who might relate with why, like it be, might be a woman. Mama Mai right. does the craziest thing at every TSA. She always packs food like she's staying here now and she makes different foods from sauces to like all these frozen goods she freezes them and then when she goes every time they stop her she always tries to look for an ethnic woman and every time i promise you guys i've seen it they let her go she looks for an ethnic woman and she tells them this is my soup or this is something i'm making for my child or and they always kind of scan it they have other devices you just got to make them go use the time to go get it and they'll let you go so try to get somebody who maybe can relate with you empathize with you and which is why yeah, we need diverse don't, don't, TSA agents. Don't Absolutely. sew your hat on, because they the, technically you are supposed to take off your hat. So they weren't wrong, but it's just, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. they it don't understand yeah, but... what we go through. Lonnie, I heard you got some very exciting event taking place tonight, so tell us all about it. That's right, Jeannie. Tonight I'm going to be the recognition ceremony orator, if I can say that, for the 2020 graduates <laughs> at my alma mater, Prairie View Andrew University is taking place tonight, 7.30 at Panther Stadium. And this is to make up for the graduates that didn't get a graduation for 2020 due oh, to wow. COVID. Um, so I'm really excited. Okay. It's, a, it's a commencement so ceremony. Great. I'm also receiving the rare President's Medal from our president of the university, Ms. Ruth Simmons. It's a high honor, oh. and I'm just excited. Congrats. But ladies, I need your help. I need your help because oh. I have to make a okay. speech. So what okay. advice would you want to give to graduates this year? Ooh. So, Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, Think about it. I'm going to start with the best advice I was ever given. And <clears throat> that is that we each are brought into this world with our own unique talents and abilities and capabilities and how that is our special power. I love seeing on Instagram, you'll see like, there is no one like you but you, and that is your special power. So tap into your uniqueness, the thing that is truly um, authentic to you, and that's what's really going to propel you in life. Love it. I Genie love Beans. that. That's really great. 
I would say what's really gotten me through life is what I always say, own you before they do. And what I mean mm. by that is own everything about you, especially the things that you're embarrassed about, your insecurities, your setbacks, anything that you're not that great at, own it first. Because the second somebody else calls that out or makes fun of you, you've given them your power. And you should never let somebody have that. So own what it is about you. Even if you got to laugh at it, even if you got to say it's a work in progress, but own it. And that's when you'll fully, fully step into that progress of becoming the best side of you. Love it. Very good advice. I would say financially, when you get your first job, credit is so important yes. in this country. Save your money. Don't live for other people. You know, yeah. live in your means and save, 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 guys. That's what I would say. Oh I my goodness, that. you ladies, you've written the speech for me, okay? <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm gonna use a little bit of everything. My whole theme right. is going to be about survival. I think all of yes. the graduates have survived through a pandemic, so I want them to know that they're very, very special. So check me out yeah. tonight. Thank you, ladies, for your help. Um, it's gonna be a great evening, and I can't wait to see everyone.